eyes are killing me And he keeps talking about everything that he likes And I can't stop listening I'm thinking about him all the time I'm thinking about him all the time I'm thinking about him all the time All the time And my heart's beating fast when he's looking like that Oh, his smile is killing me It's the way that he moves and the way that he laughs So I can't get enough Think about him all the time I can get him off Hi, this is Debbie with Food Prepping Channel And I just want y'all to see what we're dealing with today On Sunday, January the 16th, 2022 Look at this snow out here Oh my gosh, it's snowing so hard Ah, and blowing and everything. <laughs> I want y'all to see. I guess you can see. But I am trying real hard to get everything back on um, track with the channel. And I just want y'all to know that if I am behind on things, um, my daughter Kayla, my youngest child, my baby, <laughs> is in the hospital with COVID. Um, she's not congested or anything like that she's just having real bad cramps and um chills and all that and hurting real bad so she is there with COVID and I don't know how long she'll be there but um I'm stuck here at the house <laughs> of course they can't have any visitors at the hospital so but anyway I guess y'all do see this I guess you could I hope you can see how hard it's snowing here so, I'm going to get off of here. I've got some videos to make, and I'll put this in probably in the beginning of each of them. I think it's three. Um, but I love y'all, and I will talk to you later. Good morning. This is Debbie with the Food Prepping Channel, and it's early Sunday morning, and I have... <sighs> I woke up and I was kind of antsy because I haven't cooked in a few days. And that's what happens to me every time. Um, I'll think, all right, Debbie, you need a break from cooking or whatever. So I'll take a break and then I just get antsy and I want to cook again. So I'm going to be cooking today, but the, the first thing I'm fixing is breakfast and um I'm going to show y'all how to fix bacon in your oven if you haven't done that before. It's an amazing thing to do. <laughs> it really is. You don't get the grease and, and all on your counters, on your counters or, you know, wherever you, you um, cook your bacon at, on your stove, especially if you cook them in a frying pan. Um, but we're going to... It's, I've got a, I don't even know how much it is. Let me see. Uh, let me see. Oh, it's one pound. It is one pound. So I do have one pound of Members Mart. This is Sam's Hickory Smoked Bacon. All right, and so I have got out one of my big pans and I have totally covered it with aluminum foil and I've tried to flatten it out as much as possible without ripping it or whatever because I'm, I want to save my bacon grease. That's one thing I do want to save. I want to fix some beans with bacon grease and and I'm going to fix some eggs, of course, today. And I like to cook my eggs with bacon grease, too. So, all right. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to... Uh, let me see. Let me see. I don't I know how to do this. I have got a Thrive Market Avocado Oil Spray. All right. And I'm going to spray my pan, even though, the, you know, there's going to be, I'm just going to spray it lightly if I can figure out how to open this. Okay, Debbie. All right. Let me see. Oh, <laughs> that's good. Look at my hand, y'all. I just sprayed the oil all over me. Okay. 
All right. Let me get this grease off of me. And then you just take your bacon, one slice at a time, and put it across the pan. And you just fill this pan up as much as you can because the, you know, you want your bacon to cook. And I've got my oven preheating on 425. And this is, I think it's about 20 minutes, but I guess that would depend on how hot you've got your oven, you know, like that. So I'm just putting the pieces of bacon on here and then it's going straight into the oven to fry this up. It's just like fried. Um, it's just like it's fried, but it's in the oven on bake. So let me take this um, bacon and fill up this pan and get it all scrunched in together and so I can get it all on this, this sheet pan and I will bring y'all back. Okay, I'm back. All right, so I got all the bacon on here. And this is the bacon that it is. It's Members Mark Classic Cut Bacon, Hickory Smoke, uh, one pound. And I'm telling you, when I was married and, you know, my children were small, and we'd get up on a Sunday morning or whatever. It was, seemed like it was always breakfast was Sunday morning. And so it just seems like this is a pound of bacon. And it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 slices of bacon. Um, so it just seems like that it was way more bacon then. I mean, it was, I had four children when I was married or whatever, and it just, I mean, not four, but two, two children when I was married. And we had three, we had three children together, my husband and I, and then my um, youngest daughter is by someone else. But um, it just seemed like it was more bacon because bacon is one thing that everybody wants to eat. <laughs> and so, let's see. All right, so I'm going to go on now. Like I said, I've got my oven preheated to 425. I'm putting this in the oven. I'm going to have Alexa set a timer for 20 minutes. And, um, and then I'll check it after that. And if it's ready, I'll put it on a plate with, you know, on top of some um, paper towels and let it drain. And then I'll fix the, I got to get in here and get the biscuits out. And so I will bring y'all back. Okay. All right. So I've got the bacon in the oven on 425 and I'm going to fix biscuits. And these are the five count Grand's Southern Homestyle biscuits. All right, and then it, um, <laughs> I am going to be putting them on this pan, and it says an ungreased cookie sheet, so that's what I'm going to do. I don't fix biscuits very much anymore, so I've kind of forgotten, but I have not forgotten how to open a can of biscuits. When you take that paper off, when you start down here and you take that paper off, it says to use a spoon. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna hit my hit the can on the edge of the and it opens it right up. And that's the only way that I know how to you open a can of biscuits is you hit it on the corner of your table or counter or whatever and you put it um and that opens it up all right now it says to put these an inch apart let's see heat type place biscuits one to two inches apart on ungreased cookie sheet bake 11 to 15 minutes or until golden brown ah that's on a 
It's supposed to be that these are supposed to be on 375. My oven is on 425, so I'm gonna really have to watch these, and make sure they don't burn or whatever. That's probably I don't know. I have, I've always put my biscuits like this up against each other. Well, that's how my mama did. <laughs> And my grandma, too. I've never put them apart like this. I guess it'll be okay. All right, so I've got these in the pan, and um, I guess I'm, now I've got to, um, I'm going to fix some scrambled eggs, so, some scrambled eggs, biscuits, and bacon. And I will bring y'all back. I'm not sure what I'm going to put on my biscuits let me know if any of y'all have ever had, cor um, not cornbread, but um, <sighs> brown sugar biscuits. My grandma, both of my grandmas used to put, um, you put butter right when they come out of the oven, you put butter on them and then you put brown sugar. A, a spoonful of brown sugar on them and the brown sugar like melts into the butter and oh my gosh they're so good my grandma would my one grandma would fix me um brown sugar pancakes brown sugar biscuits um what else was it that she's my grandma believed in using um uh, brown sugar. That's probably why I grew up to be as large as I am. Big, fat, whatever you want to call it. That's probably why because my grandma fed me good stuff. <laughs> good stuff when I was little because I wouldn't eat. And then grandma started fixing me stuff. Found things that I would eat. And then she just kept feeding me and feeding me until they didn't have a problem feeding me anymore. That's when I wanted to eat everything. And now I, I've got a lot on me and I'm just really, my youngest daughter has COVID and um, she's in the hospital and just everybody pray for her. I was with her all day, the day before yesterday when I took her to the hospital and She's not breathing or whatever. She's just having real bad body aches and stuff. So um, she's in the hospital, and I was right beside her, like I said, for the whole day. And so I'm just hoping and praying that I don't get it, and I'm hoping and praying that she's okay. But anyway, so these are going to go in my oven. I've got to get my frying pan out to fix my eggs over here on my um, new wave and I will bring y'all back okay y'all I'm fixing scrambled eggs now and what I did was I put butter well I used country crop I call it shed spread but it's country crock or whatever I put probably a tablespoon of that in here and let it melt and um, then I put in the eggs, and I don't, my mom always used to put them in bowls or whatever and whisk them up, but I don't do that. I mean, I figured that I'm gonna whisk it enough when it's in this pan, and so I just don't do that or whatever. I just put the eggs in here and then scramble them up and then put salt and pepper on them, and that's all I do to my eggs. I don't like cheese on them. Ugh. I don't, you know, this, I just like plain scrambled eggs. And if my bacon had been done, which it's not, I hope it's done now because <laughs> these eggs are done. All right, so let me turn this off. All right, and let me go check on the bacon and the biscuits, and I'll bring you back. Okay, y'all, I'm back. All right, so this is what I have done. I've got my... Um, eggs on here with salt and pepper. I've got two Grand's biscuits on here with butter, and I put apple butter on each side of this biscuit, and I haven't put anything on this yet. And this back here, y'all are probably gonna think I'm crazy, but I'm really not. Um, this is bacon. I put it in a bowl because I like syrup on my ketchup. <laughs> syrup on my ketchup. Syrup on my bacon. Mm-mm-mm. 
Mm -mm -mm. So I put it in a bowl and then pour syrup over it. And I know I probably told y'all this before, but let me see if I can zoom you in here. This is my favorite syrup. It's Cairo pancake and waffle syrup. And they have Cairo corn syrup, which the light and the dark, that has nothing to do with this. This is, I mean, it's made by the same company, but this is Cairo pancake and waffle. So when I was growing up, this is the only thing syrup that my mom uh, bought because this was my dad's and now it's mine and they don't sell it in the store anymore, so I have to order it from Amazon. And four bottles is like $16 or whatever. I have a link below to it. Um, but this is the best, best syrup I've ever seen. I wanna show y'all how thick it is. Look, it's so thick. It's almost, I guess, like molasses or whatever. But it is so, so good. All right, so let me taste my eggs. They're probably done cold by now. Yep. And my biscuits, I let them cook a little too much. As you can see. But they'll still be okay. Mm-mm-mm. could not find the brown sugar so it must be in the freezer in the other room in there and I can't get in there to get it so I will get Samantha to get it out tomorrow well whenever she comes in we're expecting up to 16 inches of snow so the last I heard I hadn't heard today so mm, 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 mm. All right, y'all. Scrambled eggs. Apple butter biscuits. And bacon with syrup. Mmm. It's my breakfast. On what's going to be a snowy Sunday. Um, a snowy Sunday. So, I hope you like this video. If you do... Give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, look below for links to my Facebook, my Twitter, and to my Instagram, and also there'll be different links of things that you can buy from Amazon that I use on my channel, and I hope that you have a wonderful day, and God bless. I love y'all, by the way. Let me tell you that. I do love y'all. All right. Bye.